There are countless, yet-to-be-explained ruins which can be found all over our globe. The proof of a now-lost, yet once highly capable, possible pre-flood civilization, having once existed and subsequently vanished, suddenly and inexplicably, has now been identified on reportedly every continent. It is a continual problem for an academic world stuck on a paradigm of primitive and incapable ancestors of modern man to explain these ancient anomalies, especially the many megalithic structures built using blocks, sometimes weighing upwards of a thousand tons in weight, cut, quarried, and then carried and lifted into place, all seemingly with ease. The only megaliths that any funded mainstream institution has ever attempted to explain are either those which are difficult to avoid, such as the ludicrous, fictitious illustrations made as an attempt to visually explain the construction of the pyramids, or those that lay unliberated or seemingly abandoned suddenly. For example, the stone of the pregnant woman in Baalbek, long contested as abandoned due to the gradient of the geography, particularly due to its weight of an estimated 1,000 tons, which has since, however, been recognized as not abandoned, but part of an enormous prehistoric structure, which, thanks to the partial excavations which revealed this, discovered an even larger block below it. This denial, until excavation, was a mainstream explanation for its existence, all the while this conveniently ignoring the Trilithon, also found within Baalbek, set aloft meters away, three 1,000-plus ton blocks sit within part of yet another ancient structure. Another megalith which requires explanation is a statue once claimed as Apollo himself, yet clearly cut with a technique reminiscent of the Moai, found on the incredibly remote Easter Island, which also possesses the lost technique of polygonal masonry. Yet, I digress. His proximity to the Greek town of Apollonis, being the reason for this claim of identity, although others have claimed that his actual identity is in fact Colossus of Dionysus, thanks to Wilhelm von Massow, who identified him as so in 1932. Today, it is simply classified as a kuros, a freestanding stone Greek statue, regardless of the fact that it is not freestanding, is carved from solid gray Naxian marble and weighs around 100 tons. Predictably, when such figures in terms such as 10 meter tall, solid marble, 100 ton standing statue enter the discussion, cognitive dissonance has seemingly overtaken the poor fellow who was responsible for its attempted explanation for transport on Wikipedia. Specifically, during the well-studied, well-understood ancient Grecian area, stating, quote, any explanation for how they intended to move the statue was not carved into stone." End quote. Short-circuiting during their contemplation of the gargantuan task they had placed upon this well-known civilization. Thus, the questions remain. Who was the Kuros of Apollonis? Who was cutting him free from the marble? And what happened to this civilization so suddenly? We find such questions highly compelling.